Uh, let's do The Visit, the new film by uh, M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, so, it's a... F I think we know everything already. Do you? Okay, yes. fine. It's a found footage movie. Well, it's not a found oh, footage movie. No, no, it's a, it's a it's a homemade shaky cam uh, movie. So the story is there are two incandescently annoying teenagers who are sent by their mum to go and spend some time with their nana and pop pops from whom they are estranged and whom they have not met before. So they go off to this uh, distant place to stay with their nana and pop pops from whom they are estranged and whom they have not met before. And uh, their grand and grandpa start behaving really, really weirdly, doing weird stuff in the woodshed, scratching at the walls late of a night, running round under the house in various states of undress. And understandably, the kids think all is not well. Here's a clip. Nana and pop up are acting strange. Ow. Kind of strange. Becca, did you hit Tyler? <laughs> no. Kids? Papa wears diapers and he keeps them in an outhouse and Nana walks around at night without her clothes and Papa thinks strangers are following him. I knew we were gonna have this call. You're old, Tyler. I've discussed this with him. Old people have trouble with their bodies sometimes. They also aren't very self-aware. They can get paranoid too. But Becca, how strange are they acting? They haven't been mean one second. Nana crawled after us under the house. Playing hide and seek. You guys played hide and seek under the house? I used to love that. Carrie Underwood. Gee, just bear with it for a couple of days. My parents were strange back then. Mom was a hippie. She used to sunbathe in the backyard without warning back then. I'm already partially blind. Oh, I used to get so embarrassed. They're just weird people, honey. That's not the kind of mother you want, is it really? It's not the kind of anything I want. And you haven't even heard, you know, Ed Oxenbould doing his comedy rapping, of which there is quite a lot. You know, I... So I... When I was watching this, you know, every now and then you watch a film and you think, what is, is this? Is it a horror film? Is it a comedy? Is it a horror, a comedy, a, 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 horomid, a horomedy? Is it a dromedary? A drom <laughs> is, it, is it a dromedary? I'll tell you what it is. It's one of those movies in which there is a sense of dread and there is a sense of something. The sense of dread is you're thinking he's actually made a film that's worse than The Lady in the Water. And it's the strangest thing with M. Night Shyamalan because, you know, we all look at The Sixth Sense and you go, wow, this is such a well-written, such a well-put-together film. And then you look at uh, you, you know, The Village and you go, well, you know, I, I, I stood up for The Village. I thought it was interesting and I did an interview with him. And, and then you look at The Happening and you go, yeah, really? It's this. And then you've The Lady in the Water, which I think I described as like the spectacle of watching somebody actually you know, commit career catastrophe in a cinema. It was like somebody actually sort of, you know, burning their reputation before you. And of course, Lady in the Water had that extraordinary, extraordinary thing in which the film critic turned up and was the most obnoxious character, which is really, I mean, yeah. which is, no, which is really rich coming from M. Night Shyamalan, considering the, how great the reviews for his early films were. The Visit is all over the shop it feels incredibly old hat once you realize that they're going to be doing this this shaky cam you know documentary thing all the way through the film your heart starts to sink because you know you're going to have to get half an hour of nothing happening and half an hour of oh we're actually going to have to put up with the daughter is making the documentary and she keeps doing this kind of film school stuff and explaining what she's doing and then ed oxenwell keeps rapping and then you know also because it's an M Night Shyamalan film. You know, I wonder if there's going to be a big twist. I wonder if there's going to be a, you know a significant plot reveal. It's really hard work, and the you know it's just all over the show. John Dixon in Sheffield.